These next cuts need to be made with the blade guard removed. So see me, I will remove the blade guard for you. We are gonna set the blade height to go about halfway through these pieces. Use the dial on the front of the table saw to lower the blade. We are now gonna set the fence to be just about an eighth inch in from the edge of your workpiece and then you use the red lever to lock the fence down in place. You're going to use this push block and you're going to push the material through, stand to the side, whether you're standing over here or over here, doesn't matter. You just never want to be directly behind the piece of wood. If it kicks back, you do not want to get hit by it. It hurts. Right now, it doesn't matter which edge I, I'm cutting. The next cuts will matter, but the first cut doesn't really matter. Okay, now we're gonna take the piece with the groove we just cut, and we're gonna move the fence a little over to make the groove a little wider. Um, I'm pretty close to the bottom, so I'm gonna move that way so that the next cut cuts uh, up here. So I'm going to take my piece of wood, I'm going to raise the red lever on the fence, going to tap it a little bit until we get about another blade's width set up. Uh, you can put that line right up to the teeth and kind of really see where this is. And then obviously you want to make sure now it doesn't matter which side you cut. So this edge you just cut needs to be facing out. If you have this edge facing in, you're going to kind of mess up your material. It won't be the end of the world, it'll just look goofy. This is the groove that's going to hold the bottom of your keepsake box. The bottom is a little thicker than one quarter inch. The blade is one eighth inch, so we're probably pretty close to a quarter right now. One more cut and we should be good. So I'm going to move it again about a blade's width because, you know, if we have a sixteenth inch of extra that's not going to hurt anything if it's too small you just have to move it again and make another cut so if you don't get it big enough you just make another cut it would be really hard to make it too big even if you did three full weight blade widths on each cut you're probably not going to be too big again cut groove should be facing out away from the fence fence Groove on the other side. Okay, you want to see me get a bottom piece to at least see does that bottom fit in that notch. And I just had it in there. Fits good. So if this fits, you're good. If it doesn't fit, you may need to run it through again, move the fence a little bit and make another cut.